I'm Nathan Olivares Giles, technology reporter for the Los Angeles Times, and this here is the Amazon Kindle Fire. Just came to my desk today. We're gonna have a full review for you on Saturday, but until then, let's actually take it out of the box. So it looks like a little carrying case here included. That's kind of nice. And then here is the slip case on the Kindle Fire. Has that kind of recycled paper, brown paper look that you're used to if you bought a Kindle e-reader. All right, move this over to the side. And here it is. This is the Kindle Fire, seven inch uh, tablet, 200 bucks. Um, off the bat, it sure does look a lot like and feel a lot like the um, BlackBerry Playbook, which is expected, um, considering that they used it as reference design. You have a mini USB port here, headphone jack, and that looks to be a power button. Let's see if we can turn it on. Looks like we got a little bit of light. Now, once you are connected into your Wi-Fi network, it automatically recognizes your name and who you are based on your Amazon account that you purchased your Kindle Fire with. So, in my case, here I am and it takes you through a process to get started. Looks like a little bit of uh, navigation instructions here. Should be pretty straightforward, so we'll skip through all that. And this is the basic user interface. This is a highly modified version of Android. Now we'll go deeper into exactly how this works and you know what my impressions and opinions are on, uh, on all this on our Saturday review, but essentially this top row is what you've used most recently, and down here at the bottom is a little tray for your favorite apps. And of course, newsstand, books, music, video, docs, apps, web, all that's here with a focus on buying and consuming content from Amazon. And as such, of course, it's registered to my Amazon account. Nathan's Kindle appears at the top. Now we'll have the full review for you on Saturday, so check back for that. But here's a first look and an unboxing.